Federal prosecutors in Minneapolis today charged 47 people in what they call the largest COVID fraud case in the country. The alleged scheme involves a nonprofit organization called Feeding Our Future, whose mission was to help feed hungry kids in our community. Our Jonah Kaplan dug into the court documents today. Jonah, it's staggering. We're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars stolen from taxpayers and the government. The scope is pretty amazing. Frank, and that money stolen from us, from you, from, taxpayer, from taxpayers. So yes, technically we're all victims in this case, but the real tra tragedy, cheating hungry children in need during the peak of a pandemic. In March 2020, early in the pandemic, a small group of people in Minnesota had an idea and saw an opportunity. And that opportunity, according to federal prosecutors, was for the nonprofit organization Feeding Our Future and its founder, Amy Bach, to exploit the U.S. government's new rules for child nutrition programs when COVID shut down schools and sent everyone home. As alleged in these indictments, over a short period of time, these 47 defendants engaged in a brazen scheme of staggering proportions. Here's how it all allegedly went down. The U.S. Department of Agriculture sending money to each state to pay for those nutrition programs. The state then working with select nonprofit organizations called sponsors, which do the dirty work of connecting food service providers with those schools, daycares, and youth programs. Feeding Our Future, one of those sponsors. And in 2019, it dispersed about $3.5 million to daycares and after school programs for those meals. But by 2021, the receipts skyrocketing to more than 200 million bucks. How'd they get it? Those new rules loosening restrictions on who can make food and eliminating the on site visits by regulators. Feeding Our Future, thus, allegedly recruiting all kinds of restaurants and catering companies, which then submitted fake receipts and fake invoices for up to 125 million fake meals. Well, the site visit is a, is a really important one, right? When we're talking about this alleged scheme and reporting children that just didn't exist. All told, the defendants allegedly collecting up to $250 million, and they apparently enjoyed spending it. 30000 bucks at a jewelry store in Dubai, 114 k on a Cadillac Escalade, and more than $1.1 million to buy this house in Plymouth. Federal investigators say they have so far seized and recovered more than $50 million worth from those defendants, Frank. Well, we know there's a lot more to come, Jonah. Thank you. Uh, Feeding Our Future shut down last January.